Okay, hi everyone. So, you know, we're locked up inside with the hurricane force winds out here. This is day five of the windstorm. So, real happy about it. Uh, really happy about it. Lefty's crashed out down here on the floor. He's frustrated. He goes out for a little bit and then gets frustrated with the wind and the sand blowing around and then he comes back in and after about an hour or so he'll want to go back out and try it again and actually this afternoon we have a 73 percent chance of rain scheduled for this afternoon it's crazy i'm not kidding this is like day five of wind so much so that i can't do any filming outside or else all you guys are going to hear is the <laughs> And I know y'all love hearing that, but I don't like presenting that to you, so you're going to have to miss out on it, unfortunately. So I'm going to take advantage of it. You know we've got these packages that have arrived. I do believe this is the last of the packages that y'all have sent, and I'm psyched to open this stuff because some of you have sent emails like, Hey, did you get the blank yet? I didn't see you open it. So there are a lot of things that I've opened that I haven't shown on video yet. So I'm going to get these all opened up. I'll put together a video showing y'all everything that has come. But some of the things that have already shown up that I, I haven't shown yet in video, and I will. And some of the things that I know that are in some of these packages are so great. And I owe, I owe you people so much for really working to keep Lefty and I comfortable. It's an amazing thing. And thank you all that watch the videos because if y'all didn't watch the videos and leaving us comments and giving us thumbs up, we wouldn't be getting the dollars that we get from YouTube. And that's what keeps us going. All of you that send us things that, that buy stickers, all of you, my patrons, all of you that do those things, really mean a lot to me and they mean a lot to lefty he doesn't know how to express it but without all of that he wouldn't be able to live the life that he's living and i thank you all so much for keeping us going i thank you i don't know what else to say but thank you okay we're gonna start in here and i'm sorry you're gonna hear some background noise of wind because it's it's a warm day and there's nothing worse than getting stuck inside on a warm day because you don't want to open windows and stuff because of the sand so we're going to start here with this package this is from qvc y'all know qvc and i i know this is from pat because she she told me that she was getting me something from qvc and i'm thinking qvc what's it gonna be like some kind of deodorant or something oh no way it's cookies Cheryl's cookies oh heck yeah heck yeah so no this is not uh, like a um, like a glass unicorn that you put on your cabinet shelf this is cookies I will absolutely take cookies oh they're like soft dude uh, so I'm pretty certain this is from Pat. So it looks like one, two, three, four. Looks like a dozen, a dozen cookies. Very nicely packaged. And these are, they look to be like maybe they were for um, Valentine's Day. So Pat, yes, I will be your Valentine if you send me cookies like this. <laughs> so if I've got that right and it is you, Pat, thank you so much. Outstanding. Oh yeah, those are going right up in the snack cabinet. This is an Amazon. And this looks like wish list. It's got my name. Thank you. We can never have enough of these. Let's see if we get a note. Yes, we've got note. Thank you for putting the note in here. Hi Lefty, enjoy these. Let your dad know I sent that jacket he wanted, but I forgot to put a gift message with it. Woof! From Donna. Donna, thank you. 
let's open that jacket. I've been seeing this. This is how they shipped it. So there's there's no guessing about what was in this package. It says ready to ship right there. And I'm just so hopeful that this is the right size. Oh, I love the color. Look at that. Like desert tan. Oh yeah, absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. See, I had the green one that I bought and it was a large and it felt like I wanted it to be just a tad smaller. So this is a medium. So if any of y'all are thinking about getting one of these jackets, I'm six foot tall, I weigh 185 pounds. I do have long arms, that's the reason I typically order larger stuff, but the green one was just a little bit oversized. This fits like I wanted it to fit, just tighter, you know? Better, this is perfect. Thank you, Donna. So talk about something that's gonna go right into use. It's going right up here on my coat hook. Perfect. Bum, bum, bum. Right there. Thank you so much. I love it when we get we get one for the knucklehead and one for this knucklehead. Okay, here we go. This is a surprise. This is a surprise. Whoa, are you kidding? Check it out. So great. Oh, no notes. I don't know who sent this. Thank you. Whoever sent this to me. Uh, you know, we're getting ready to hit the road. I said it before. We cannot find anything even close to this kind of quality of snacks when we're traveling. You just can't. Um, so we are stocked because Lefty gets these on the regular, so it's not like this bag is going to last months, you know, it's going to last more like days. So having, having multiples of these, thank you for doing that. So I don't have to worry about where I'm going to get him good quality treats. Thank you. And by the way, there is a Wags beef version that he, he is just as enthralled with as he is the chicken. So if you're ever gonna get him a, a bag and you're thinking, hmm, beef chicken, beef chicken, either one, he, he loves them both. Now this, very small box, but very heavy. And there's some things rolling around in here. What is this? It's got my name on it, so it's not a surprise. Oh, I, no, these are uh, from, the, from the wish list. Thank you. I need these so bad. I don't want to get dramatic, but these are batteries. Double A's, triple A's. The, the battery in my Bluetooth mouse that I use for my laptop died a couple nights ago. And so I'm digging through my bin because I had a pack of Amazon. These are Amazon Basics. Oh, this one popped open and they spilled. Shucks because they typically, they come in these nice packages and so they're really easy to store. And I had AA and AAA both of Amazon Basics. These are good quality batteries. I have nothing but good things to say about them. Don't buy Duracell, don't buy expensive ones. Get the Amazon Basics. You will be totally satisfied. This from Bruce. Thank you, Bruce. So I'll get those packaged up. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you so much. Okay, I got these repackaged. They're good to go now. Now they can be stored up in my my electronics bin there, along with their AAA partners. So now I'm stocked for a good while. Okay. Oh, check it out, an infrared thermometer. This must be from Jason. 
Yes. Jason stuck with it, went round and round with Amazon. If I remember right, I think this was lost shipment, if I'm remembering correctly. But but uh, Jason stuck with it. And Jason is one of my patrons, so thank you for that also, brother. Very appreciate it. And again, I'm old school. My thermometer that I had, yes, it had a digital readout, but it was the kind that you had to put in your mouth under your tongue. But this is one of those that, if I'm correct, that you actually, yeah, touchless forehead. Put it, point it at the forehead, and maybe push a button. I'm happy to ditch the old school, the one I hate, because it, even when it was like fresh battery and all that, I never liked the thing. It was always problematic to use. It never seemed, I never trusted it. It would sometimes, I would have it in my mouth, sitting there waiting, waiting, waiting for it to do the beeps, and then finally pull it out to see what's going on, and it's blank, it's turned itself off. And I'm sitting there <laughs> like a dumpski, you know, waiting and waiting while I'm not feeling well, and uh, the thing has turned itself off for whatever reason. So, Jason, thank you, and thank you for sticking with this. I, there was some kind of Amazon problem, I remember, but you stuck with it, and I have it now. So, thanks, brother. Oh, thank goodness. A new leash for Lefty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. From Maureen. This is Lefty's current leash. Okay? Sorry about that. Had a little camera beep, which I hate to think that you know, I'm sitting here talking and talking and talking and it's not being recorded. So when I hear a beep, I, I panic a little bit. But what I was saying was when, when I kept getting asked about Lefty's harness, that was one of the original reasons why I said, you know what, I should go make a list on Amazon so that people can go and find these things without having to email me and ask about it. So that's what started those lists. So a lot of the things that are used or installed in this truck or that we use in our lives are over there on Amazon. And yes, if you click over and you buy something off of Amazon, I do get a little commission. It doesn't cost you anything. It comes out of Amazon's end of the transaction. And so if you all are buying something on Amazon, really appreciate that you click on my link to take you over there. I've had people tell me that if they're going to Amazon to shop for something, they'll go and click one of my links to take them to Amazon, and then they do their shopping, because if you click my link for this leash, and you go to Amazon, but you end up buying a, a camera, it doesn't matter. As long as you've clicked my link, I get a commission on whatever you buy. So all of you that have done that, it's very appreciated. You know, we don't get a ton of money from Amazon, but every dollar counts. Every dollar helps. It's a corny, corny statement, but every little bit helps. And if y'all are gonna go shopping at Amazon and you have the thought in your mind, you click one of my links that takes you over there, then I get a commission on whatever you buy. It could be dog diapers, it could be a snow shovel, whatever it is, I still get a commission, even if it's you clicked on one of my product links that's totally unrelated. So for all of you that do that, thank you for that. I never thought that starting to film myself building an ambulance in my driveway would turn into something like this. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever think that that's what this would turn into. You all have changed our lives dramatically through doing this kind of stuff. You really have. You've changed our lives dramatically. And I owe you all a ton of thanks. Yeah. So, he's my companion. He knows the drill when we have these windy and bad weather days. He knows all, we, all we're gonna do is hang out inside. He doesn't come in here and go crazy and get the zoomies and all that because there's nothing happening. He gets it. Look at the nose prints on that windshield. 
You have got to be kidding me. I just cleaned that not very long ago at all. Can you guys see those nose prints? Yeah, that's all on the inside. That's not the outside. What a slobbering monster. Look at those nose prints. And, yep, sure enough, there's a whole bunch of them on the driver's door over here. And I'm sure the passenger door, which is his side, I'm sure it's just inundated with, uh, yeah, you guys can't see it, but, oh gosh, yeah, it's just covered. He lays there on the corner. This is like our living room out here. Oh, and I've got these new, these new hold down spikes. They're basically like a giant nail. They're about six inches long quarter inch diameter and they come with these washers big fender washer type these are the best thing ever for holding down mats you can hammer them down to where the lefty's leash isn't going to get hung on them and to get them out they're actually pretty easy to get out you just get something up under the mat under here you know you can do it with a claw hammer but real easy to get out and I've got, I think, a dozen of them. So they're nice, evenly spaced, and this mat does not move at all. I put an extra one right here because the wind was coming under the, the truck and it was picking up. You see, how it, you see how it picks it up a little bit there? And depending on which way the wind is coming, it can really start to lift the mat. And you don't want that happening because if it's uh, loose, loose sand and the mat gets flipping around, you will have a burst of sand fly up in the air like you wouldn't believe. They work so well. See? Perfect. So this is a, this is a surprise because it has the Campulence Man. So someone has sent this. What is this? Is there a note? No note. Oh, it's a uh, an infrared body thermometer. This is cool. So now I have two because I was already sent one of these. I was sent one that's um, specifically for shooting on the forehead. Oh, look at this. Look at that. The other one is is kind of like the ones you would see. I've seen them in the doctor's office. It's shaped like, looks like it came from Star Trek. This does not look like it came from Star Trek. I'm gonna say it again. I do need to go and get myself some real reading glasses. These do work. They definitely help me. But I'll bet you there's ones that are even better because these are just ones I found on the ground. So again, I don't know who sent this, but thank you so much for sending this. And I'm, I'll say it again, that you all take better care of me than I do. So thank you all for, for watching out for me. I feel as though sometimes I, I don't know why I do that to myself, where I don't, I don't really, I don't do all the things that I should be doing to ensure that I'm healthy and safe and, and all of that. I just, I don't know what it is, but there's a lot of you out there that have my back, so to speak. So thank you for that. Okay, you're on camera right now. Say hi to everyone. Hi. There's Dalen, there's Mom, and get Howard in there. Hi, Howard. There you go. You're all going to be YouTube famous now. So, Dalen wants to be here while I open some gifts. So let me see if I can figure out how to prop the phone up and not be an old man who can't do this kind of stuff. Hold on. Oh, look what... You see what's right here? 
frog. The frog. Hold on, I'll use Mr. Frog to keep you propped up. There we go. All right, so we've got a couple of surprise packages here. What are you guys eating? Beef and vegetable soup. My my recipe? No, no grandma's. Mine's better. Disc style coffee filters. Oh, well, okay. This one I'm gonna need a razor blade for. Oh, what do we got here? What is that? Oh, that's a hat. Oh, and it's look. The funny thing is, well, you're going to get one of these because somebody already sent me two of these, a gray one and a black one. Night Scope Explorers Collection. Honey, would you like to have one of these? Because um, the, other, uh, the other woman that sent the other two, she said if you can't use them both to hand one off to somebody that can use it. So I'll send you... Do you want the gray or the black one? Black. Okay, you got it. What else do we got? This is a... Is that a cup? I don't know. I'm confused. It's a, it's a light for a cup. It says it's a light for a cup. Do you have said cup, though? I think I do now. Uh... Oh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Right. It's a cup that has a oh it's got it's got multi rings, you see? Oh my god <laughs> that, now you can drink in the pitch black. Uh what else do we got here? Oh I got a note. David, thank you for giving us a chance to travel with you. I thought these might help with some of Lefty's walks. His gift is coming Amazon. Aww. From Sean Anderson? Uniquely Yours Boutique, Sean. Thank you, because the, the outside label on this was gone. So I hope, Sean, I hope I'm reading. You have beautiful handwriting, by the way. This is beautiful handwriting. Sean Anderson, Uniquely Yours Boutique. The whole package smells deli smells terrific. <laughs> I gotta see what this is. A little flashlight, no? I don't know. It's a 20 lumen lantern. Well, you're gonna be very illuminated now. Oh, yes I am, that's for dang sure. Pull. Oh! Oh, you like stand it up. Like, so it's like... That's cool. So like if you're outside and you need a little light on your table. That's right. Oh, look, magnetic, watch. Oh. And that shuts it off. And then yeah. you and then you push it and now it's little. Nice. I like that. Boop. I have never seen something like that. And I have definitely never seen the double ring illuminated cup holder. I'm assuming, Sean, if I'm reading this right, you have a, a store, Uniquely Yours Boutique. Head over to Sean's store. Thank you, Sean. These are very unique items, that's for sure. So cool. Jealous? Huh? And, well, I'm going to send you something. Blue just got a package. How's she liking her jerky treats? She loves them. I actually have a story about that. So I brought her to Jenny's house yesterday because Jenny did my nails. And um, so I brought her to Jenny's house. And you know, Jenny just moved. She lives on East Ave now. Like. Oh, wow. So I had to park um, in the parking garage. Okay. There was no on street parking. Yeah. Park, got in the parking garage, got blue outside. She's trying to back out of her harness into the middle of East Ave. And I can't, if I like pull her 
by this way, she'll just flip out of her harness. So I had to like go with her into the middle of the road. All the cars had to stop. Luckily, nobody beeped at me because I was very embarrassed. I somehow got her into Jenny's apartment. Not even in the apartment for more than five minutes. I had left one of her jerky treats on Jenny's um, shoe rack. Blue jumps up on the shoe rack, knocks over a vase, it shatters. Oh, God. There's glass everywhere. She's like, what is she trying to get? What did she jump up there for? I'm like, her jerky. Jerky's so bad. I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, I'll buy you a new vase. I was so embarrassed. Aww. Like, I saw her jump up there, and, like, I saw the vase fall and slow motion, oh. but there was nothing I could do. Oh, there Lordy. Yeah, so I sent uh, I sent Dalen a, a pack of that. Was it the WAGs? The WAG? Yeah. The, yeah, so I sent Dalen a bag. I ordered it and had it delivered to her house uh, because that stuff is so good. Uh, Lefty kills that stuff when I give it to him. He waits for me to give him the chicken jerky, and then when I'm all done, then he'll take his dental chew and finally eat it. Very spoiled. All right, honey. All right, I don't know, but I think that there's, this is a heavy, heavy package. I'm be sure I'm not cutting something that's inside here. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. We got some goods. Let's see what we got here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. gosh, it's so big I can't even hardly lift it. Oh, there it is. The wagon train. Yep. And these are thick plastic bags these come in. No challenge for the nose. The nose knows. Right? Oh my goodness. This is the only two ingredients. Chicken jerky tenders. For adult dogs. Five pounds and over. I can't imagine a five pound dog grabbing one of these because some of these are pretty large in size. It'd be half the size of the dog. I'm looking for uh, origin. So let's put it on record and see what it does. All I'm trying to do is make a video of my lefty. Alright buddy. So we already know we got the wagon, wagon train. But we've also got our dental chews because this is right on time. We're out of these. So I'm really happy that these have just shown up. We need them. Let's see who sent these. This is from Base Camp Subaru. Thank you. I bet you I can guess what kind of vehicle you've got. Is it a Subaru? It says, enjoy your gifts. Love you, Lefty. And not a dang thing. For daddy. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't want to get weepy and all, but now seriously, if it was my choice between him and I, he would get something before I would get something, so I'm okay with it. Would well, you want to have one of these? I think that I can open these up right now and see if I can't get you a piece of what you've been waiting for so graciously and patiently all this time. Some of these we end up breaking down into smaller pieces because they're so dang big. There you go. There you go. Yeah, these are these are the kind that are that are very jerky. Um, I was mentioning one of the other brands, I don't know if I've played the video clip yet, but one of the other brands that we have, the chicken is um, Moister. It, it's, it's chicken jerky, but it's, uh, you know, different company, um, but it's, it seems to be Moister. Don't get me wrong, they all go down just fine, <laughs> and they're all loved equally. So thank you, Base Camp Subaru, for sending these. And I'm really glad that you were able to find them in stock. There it is. Get it. 
he's become so spoiled that he won't take this first anymore. He used to love these. He'd chase me around to get one of these. Now, it's all about getting the chicken jerky. Once he's gotten the chicken jerky, then he'll fall back on the old, the old favorite, the old favorite, and have his dental chew. So boy, have we spoiled him. <laughs> but he really, he, he does need to have one of these every day. It keeps his breath smelling great. He's never had nasty breath, but it can happen to any dog. It keeps his breath basically neutral. You smell nothing uh, when he comes up in your face. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, let me see. Gotta be beautiful. When I use that phrase, he freezes immediately and lets me check whatever part of his body I want to check. He's very good about that. Easy, easy. Oh, is that good? Is that good? Let's try cutting them the long way. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. See, he, he'd rather eat it out of my hand, my fingers, but I don't want to mess up my band-aids. So unfortunately, he's getting it. A la fork. Always coming. Easy, easy. There you go. Oh, it's so good. I can tell. Left, you gotta talk. You gotta talk. <laughs> oh, that's about it, huh? Goodness gracious. I guess I need to do it out of my fingers. Here. Yeah, he doesn't like it up there on the couch. Sit. Oh, go boy. Here we go. Try to do this without ruining my fingers. My finger band-aids. What? Okay. Oh, I got a little I got a little nubbin here. I got a little nubbin. There you go. Another little nubbin. And this is gonna be the last one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry it's the last one. What? What? I, 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 what is it? Talk. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's it, buddy. Yeah, we're going to have to buy some more chicken. And that is it for this morning session of Lefty Loves Chicken. Everything is secured. It's not going anywhere. Let's hope, right? Famous last words. What a crap. Crap, crap day. Ugh. What a crappy day, huh? What a crappy day. I'm sorry. We're gonna hang out and we're gonna make vidges for the folks, okay? For all your fan fans. How's that sound? Not too exciting? Well, it is for me. Oh, what'd you find there? We got packages? Holy smokes! Where'd those come from? Oh, nothing of interest, I guess. That must mean they're for me. So I'm going to open them. Alrighty. Let's see what we got here. For old the Campulance Man. These are surprises. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Two alarm chili kit. Texas style. <laughs> hey. You can have the plastic envelope, that's fine. Who thought enough of me to send this? Thought you might enjoy chili. Easy to make and several meals from... You get several meals. This is from Margo. Margo, thank you. Two alarm chili kit. Hey, get, 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 get out of that. No. Thank you, Texas style. Let me see what it takes for the ingredients. It doesn't look like much. Two pounds of ground beef. An eight ounce can of tomato sauce, two cups of water, 
and salt as optional. And that's it. And then the packet of the good stuff. So she sent me two boxes here. So this is obviously going to be cooked up and shared with the gang out here. I would be very proud to make some two alarm chili and share it with all my friends that are camped nearby. Thank you, Margo. Perfect. Perfect camp food. I'll get some of those snowflake rolls, some two alarm chili. Oh, life does not get any better than that. Now the following day, there could be trouble. But each of us will have to deal with that on our own private terms, okay? Another surprise to the Campulence man. Oh, see what this is. I believe this is uh, what is known as a heat diffuser, right? Yep. Kitchen heat diffuser, reducer, flame guard, simmer plate, stainless steel. Now, I know that all of you really responded to me when I dumped the coffee pot all over the floor. That was... Um, it was a bad day. It was a bad morning, and a lot of you even commented and understood that it all happened before I had my coffee. And so while it was happening, and I'm cleaning and saying a lot of words that are bad, all I wanted was a cup of coffee. And so many of you, I think, could relate to that. So many ideas came in. A lot of folks picked the, the sprocket idea. So this is from Lynn. Says, hi, David. This is what I use when living on the farm to keep pots and small items on the stove. It also helps your pans produce an even heat. I hope it helps. Well, we just did our best to uh, take Lefty out for his last walk of the day. It is... There's a storm. I mean, the, the sky is suddenly just gray it's coming and uh, so I got lefty back here and I got the bike cover on and that in itself was I mean the thing almost took off on me when I got it unrolled when the wind caught it uh, but I got it all and I've got bungees all over it so it's not flapping so much I mean it is ripping right now. The wind is so strong. And there's a storm. I mean, this is a storm front coming. I, I don't know that you can tell, but the sky is suddenly all gray. And it's not from the sand blowing. This is, this is a storm front coming. And I can see that we've actually got some sun. See, there's some sun popping, but there is, there is a storm, and that's got to be what all this wind is, that this storm front is coming, because if I turn the camera that way, and I know it's just not showing, but it's all gray, storm, storm gray. Well, there's uh, Julie getting her dogs out for a quick walk. I mean, it is brutal out there. Brutal. The wind is blowing so hard. So I took Lefty and made him do his whizzers and, uh, you know, forcing him, you know, pee, 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 pee. And then had to, I could smell rain. So I, I'm like, then I'm looking at the sky and I said, we got to go back, buddy. I got to get the bike covered up. So I got him inside, and I went at getting the bike cover on. I put on my long pants and my jacket so that I was trying to not get so much sand on me because it is blowing and got a couple facefuls. But this is definitely the worst of the winter so far today. And it is not over yet, for sure. Can't believe that sun is breaking through, because there's a, there's a massive cloud front. 
I wish it would just go ahead and come on and pass and get it over with, you know? <laughs> just get it over with. Come on. I can't put the generator out, um, you know, normally this time of night because I'm running the Starlink and it's AC powered. So I've been running the I've been running the generator from about 5:30 6 p.m. up to about 9 p.m. Uh, and then shutting it off. I'm just not going to do that today. And uh, we'll just use up a little bit more of the batteries. Uh, you know, I don't. I don't even know why I do that. I don't need to do that. I have lithium batteries. They can go down to you know 10 percent without bothering them. So, we're, uh, I'm going to make something to eat because I am starving still because we just, I wanted to take him out and let him do his bathrooms and all that before I got, got us all inside for the night. So, now that that's over with, I can, uh, get myself cleaned up. So you can see the storm clouds there, and that direction is just, you know, here we've got some blue, but then that direction, it's just dismal. Like, it's raining over there somewhere, definitely raining. And it looks like there's some rain that direction, too. So we're going to get hit here soon. I just wish it would go ahead and pass on by. I mean, right up there is blue skies. So, just one of these freaky weather fronts. And I feel I feel really bad for everyone that has tents because there's no tents that are withstanding this. Oh, what a day. <laughs> Highlight of the day was unpacking the JBL headphones and going up to see Pam on the e-bike, riding the JCN e-bike. That was the highlight of the day. But the rest of it, weather-wise, has been... <laughs> Thanks for being with us all day today through this. Everyone take care. Be safe. We'll see you all again really soon. Hi, puppy. You feeling okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a wipe down. Yes, I am. I'm going to give you a wipe down because I know you got a bunch of sand up in that face. Yes, you did. <laughs>